Plasmas are ionized gases. Uh, the air molecules in this room are all neutral. That means they have as many electrons as protons. But if you're able to remove one of those electrons from a neutral gas molecule and accelerate it in an electric field, you're able to activate the gas to do things that you would not otherwise be able to do. You can coat windows with anti-reflection coatings. You can make microelectronic devices. In fact, our entire information technology revolution just wouldn't have happened in the absence of the ability of plasmas to make the tiny little features in microelectronic devices. Today, there's another revolution in plasmas in a field called plasma medicine, where you apply atmospheric pressure plasmas directly to human tissue for cancer treatment, for treating non-healing wounds, and for delivering drugs to cells deep below the surface of the skin. One of the more exciting areas is harnessing plasmas for fusion to create almost unlimited energy by using plasmids to create the same sorts of reactions that occur in the sun, but in a very controlled fashion. Here at the University of Michigan, we have created MIPSI, the Michigan Institute for Plasma Science and Engineering. MIPSI represents 10 departments over three universities. MIPSI is intended to bring together the extreme diversity of plasma activities that we have in a program that addresses research, graduate programs, sponsoring undergraduate research activities, and a seminar series that brings to the University of Michigan some of the most prominent researchers in the world in the different areas of plasma science and technology. We have more than 50 faculty and staff members who participate in MIPSI, but also over 100 students. And part of the mission of MIPSI is to help the students become professionals. These students are joining some of the leading companies in the world, applying what they've learned in their graduate studies, as well as joining national laboratories here and abroad. Imagine a world where there were no computers, there were no digital cameras, there was no internet, there were no artificial organs. This would be the world that we would have without plasmas. With plasmas, we have all of these society benefiting technologies. Plasmas, the world just wouldn't be the same without them.